Hi there, welcome back. Today I will show you a new version of the Essential Active Caption template. It was rebuilt with streamlined logic and more intuitive user controls. It runs two times faster than the previous version. And with the many new features added in this version, you can create captions in your unique style with just a few clicks. If you haven't seen the previous video before, you can click the link up here, or use the link in the description below. Once the new version is installed, you can find the template, Essential Active Caption V2, in the Essential Titles section of the Effects panel. Add it to the timeline. The controls in the inspector are very similar to the previous version, with three main sections. The first part is to control the main caption and styles. The second part in the middle is for animation control. And the last section is used to control animation timing and font styles of individual words. For better performance, the multi-line option is removed from the new version. As we can always add additional caption clips to different tracks and display multiple caption lines together. Regardless of how we enter the text in the input field, it will always display them on the same line. Another simplification is reducing the max number of words we can use in a caption. Instead of 10 words, it now accepts a maximum of six words in one caption clip. Most of the time, we only use a couple of words for each active caption. To compare the performance between the old template and the new version, the render cache is set to smart, fusion cache is always on, and the option of show all video frames is also checked. Here are the test results with the new version on the left side. Both use four words in the caption with background animation enabled. For a five second caption clip, it took about 10 seconds to complete the render cache with the new template, while the old one took 19 seconds. The old version is rendering at seven to eight frames per second, while the new one renders at 14 frames per second. This improved performance will help greatly if you need to work with lots of active captions in your video. For those who haven't used the essential caption before, here are the typical steps for a quick start. Enter the caption words in the text input field. Click the button of Reset Caption Words and Positions to refresh the caption display. Please note this is the key step to make sure the caption is updated to your own words entered in the input field. You can always click this button to reset the caption after you change the font style, tracking, word spacing, or individual word style. It will calculate and reposition the words based on these settings. For example, increase a bit of the word spacing. Click the button. The words are now realigned with more space between each word. If some words are cut off after the reset, you can click the reset button again until it's fixed. This also works when we change an individual word style. Let's say we want to increase the size of the second word. The words are now overlapping with each other. Instead of adjusting the offset of each word to fix the overlapping, we can also click the reset button to position the words automatically. Next, if you want to animate the caption word by word, you can enable one or more animation effects in the animation section. For this demo, let's enable only the background animation. When animation is enabled, we usually need to adjust the timing to sync the words with the audio dialogue. With the default settings, the animation starts at the beginning and each word follows the previous one immediately and animates for 10 frames. These are the controls we can use to make the timing adjustments. Let's say we want to animate the first word for one second. Make sure the first word is selected. Change the animation time to 30 frames which is one second in this case. Now when we play the clip, the first word is shown as highlighted for one second.
We can also move the playhead to where the animation should stop, and click the end animation button, which calculates the time value based on the current playhead position. By default, the animation start is set to zero, which means the animation starts immediately after the previous one. Or in the case of the first word, the animation will start from the beginning of the clip. If we want to control when to start the animation, we can enter the start value manually. Fox example, 20 frames. Now the animation starts from the 20 frame position. Or we can move the playhead to where we want to start and click the start animation button. This automatically calculates the start value of the current playhead position. Play the clip. It now starts highlighting the word from the current playhead position. OK, we've talked about the basic usage of the template, and next we'll quickly go through some of the main changes made in this new version. To make it easy for comparison, let's also add the old template to the timeline. As mentioned earlier, we no longer have the multi-line option. We can enter the caption words in multiple lines in the input field, but when we reset the display, all the words will be shown on the same line. In the new template, we now have a right to left option to indicate if the caption is written from right to left. When this option is changed, please make sure to click the reset button. There are no changes in the display, but it informs the animation logic that the caption is from right to left, so that the animation will be set in a reverse direction. Also if we check the words, the word on the right side becomes the first word logically, and the word at the very left is now set to the last word. When we enable an animation, for example, background, it now highlights the words from right to left. This could be helpful for making animated captions in languages written from right to left. If we turn on the fusion overlay, we can move the caption using the on-screen control directly inside the viewer. Or rotate the caption. This is equivalent to changing the center or angle parameters in the inspector. These three rotation parameters are new additions in the template. We can use them to rotate all words at the same time to create captions with unique styles, like in a 3D world. In the old version, there is only one stroke option to enable and disable the black text outline. Now we have the options to control the outline color and thickness which is very useful for creating different caption styles. In the animation section, there are still four types of effects we can choose for the animation. The write-on effect now has an option to animate the size as the word is revealed. The start size is set to zero as default, the word will zoom into the actual size as it's being displayed. If you don't need the resizing effect, you can set start size to 1. Changing the start size to a value greater than 1 will create a zoom out effect. The size option is now renamed to pulse. I removed the style 1 and 2 options, which was confusing. When pulse effect is enabled, it scales the word size up or down by the given size factor, and scales back to original size when animation is done, which creates a pulse-like effect. The larger value the factor is set, the bigger the words are zoomed in. If we change the factor to a negative value, 
We will get some cool effects like pressing keys. Similarly, for the color animation, the style option is also removed to avoid complication and confusion. When the color effect is enabled, it transitions from the word color to the color defined for the animation, which is set to red by default. Using this effect, we can create captions like seen in karaoke lyric displays. For the background option, we can now change the corner roundness and offset the position if needed. When you change the font, the background may not be centered. For example, use the font of Papyrus, the background is off the center. Now with the help of this option, we can easily adjust the offset Y to move the background to the middle. There are a few things changed in the last group of parameters. As you've noticed, the current selected word is being displayed in a text field under the selection buttons. This can help identify the word we are currently working on and reduce mistakes. Previously, there was no font and style option for the first word because it's default to the global font settings, which could be challenging in the situation when we want to change font and style for the first word only. Now we have this option available for all words, changing the individual font style can be done easily without complications. If we want to set all the words to the same color, we can click this color copy button to apply the current color to all words. In this example, all words are now set to color white. If you want how to, to see how a real word example was done using first, essential active niche. caption templates, Focus you can check the first video of the caption template. The link is in the description below. Because this template is complex and very resource intensive, when creating captions, you can disable video tracks and keep only the audio track to sync the caption words. This can enhance your editing experience with faster cache rendering and smoother playback. Once you are done with the captions, you can create a component clip and render in place to continue the rest of the work on your timeline without worrying about the caption performance. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.